course. Uh, we can move now to uh, Olena. Olena uh, is from uh, CEDOS, uh, who did a lot of the uh, analysis and the uh, the hard data crunching to produce the documents. So Elena, if you'd like to share the process, that would be really helpful. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Hello, everyone. And uh, yeah, um, first of all, I would like to just uh, also tell that I'm joining you uh, from, actually not from Ukraine, but from Berlin, where I'm right now also on an um, exchange uh, networking meeting with Ukrainian civil society representatives and also the ones from a uh, cultural field where we are talking about recovery um, and in particular recovery of culture and cultural infrastructure. So for me, it's uh, also very interesting and important that um, like we are all um, may maybe in different places, spaces, uh, countries, cities, but we are still um, working um, for like shared purpose and uh, like also in terms of recovery. And um, uh, I would like, first of all, also to thank Ukrainian Institute for inviting Sados to, um, to conduct this study. And uh, I will uh, share today um, some thoughts and um, um, outcomes of, uh, of our research. And first of all, I uh, would like to tell a few words about the methodology and how we conducted this study. Um, and um, uh, I would like to start with the conceptualization and definition because in the study itself we operate uh, uh, with the term Ukrainian cultural field uh, and we focus on the visual arts. Uh, um, however, for me, I, I feel that uh, we can also um, kind of um, um, uh, apply these uh, findings not only to the visual arts um, uh, field, but also to the broader fields of culture in Ukraine and cultural um, workers in Ukraine. And uh, when we uh, talk about Ukrainian cultural field uh, in the visual arts, we define it as a system of networks, connections, practices, and interactions between artists, cultural workers, communities, institutions, and other actors who work with with visual art and are related to the Ukrainian context, uh, but maybe uh, also located uh, outside Ukraine, because uh, this uh, transnational uh, component and focus um, is extremely important right now. And uh, also, we'd like to mention that we used a qualitative approach uh, in this study. We conducted 12 uh, in-depth interviews with uh, four groups. And uh, uh, the first group was uh, cultural workers who left Ukraine more than two years ago. So those who uh, more permanently live abroad. Uh, the second group was uh, cultural workers with a high transnational mobility, so those uh, who um, are very, who have high mobility and who are moving uh, between uh, cities and countries. Um, the third uh, group was more about, the third and the fourth groups were about institutional level, and there were representatives of cultural institutions that collaborate with Ukrainians who live abroad, and the uh, other group was representatives of cultural institutions institutions that could collaborate with Ukrainians who live abroad, but do but do not do so. So there were two levels, like more individual one and the other one more um, like institutional one. And also I would like to uh, point out a few limitations of this study, uh, because uh, we uh, also have to understand that um, this study was rather sm small scale one. Uh, we um, uh, we conducted inter in depth interviews and also we used the materials of the of, uh, previous assembly that uh, took place uh, one year ago. And the study was uh, exploratory. Um, also, it was, um, uh, we cannot. Um, Kind of, it was rep uh, not representative, uh, so um, we cannot um, uh, extrapolate the results to uh, all the representatives of visual arts field in Ukraine, but we rather uh, can uh, grasp some trends, some problems that um, people who are working in the, in the field are experiencing right now. And um, 
I also would like to uh, mention that uh, there was a limited number of in-depth interviews and uh, like we cannot also claim that we reflect all the available experiences of representatives of visual arts field. Um, I also would like to mention a bit of the context of Ukrainian cultural field that uh, we um, that we found out uh, in the study. And uh, first of all, our one of our hypotheses was that uh, we, uh, Ukrainian cultural field and the uh, visual arts field uh, is uh, kind of integral. Uh, it, that it has um, it, it is more whole or united. But um, uh, we uh, found out. Uh, in the process of interviewing um, representatives um, of um, cultural field that um, they describe uh, Ukrainian cultural field uh, more as uh, something heterogeneous, non-uniform, non-monolithic, porous, patchy, collage, and um, for them is also it's rather uh, positive characteristics of the field uh, rather than uh, negative ones and also uh, and i would like to um, also make reference what uh, to what Tatiana Falevska was uh, mentioning about the um, uh, difference and uh, heterogeneity and diversity of experiences that um, Ukrainians and uh, if we uh, talk about Ukrainian cultural workers uh, that they have and uh, um, one of our uh, findings was that uh, this uh, diversity it can lead actually both uh, to to some conflicts and misunderstandings with which naturally appear because of this uh, heterogeneity of experiences of people, but also it can lead to the unification um, of uh, different groups of people. Um, in the cultural field. And um, uh, when we talk about Ukrainian cultural uh, field, uh, respondents uh, also mentioned the importance of uh, consciously maintaining and preserving ties with Ukraine. And it's uh, also important to highlight this uh, conscious uh, emphasis. Um, another thing was, uh, when we talk about the context, is that the uh, former um, policies uh, especially the policy of decentralization was named as uh, one of the key factors that influenced the uh, formation of connections and networks within a uh, Ukrainian cultural field before the start of the full-scale war. And it actually led to um, like strengthening the agency of uh, proactivity of regional cultural workers which uh, after the full-scale invasion started played a crucial role in um, in mobilizing and uh, solidarity among the cultural workers. And uh, also another very uh, important thing, um, according to the research participants, uh, were um, at first first local ties that were formed between inv in the invasion and also connections and uh, communities um, and uh, communities and artists uh, which maintain these uh, local connections. Um, then uh, now I would like to um, highlight uh, a few uh, things which are related to our um, main findings and of course I will not go uh, in detail it will be all, uh, rather more uh, uh, such something like an overview uh, of our results um, and um, of course, it uh, all can be found in uh, uh, deeper detail in the report itself. Uh, but I would like to um, to mention a few um, topics, which uh, a few issues and aspects that are important for connections and networks within the Ukrainian cultural uh, field and um, in the in the field of visual arts. And first of all, it's uh, a, a bit obvious one, it's migration and forced displacement because of the uh, full-scale invasion. The second one is also uh, institutional interaction and exchange of uh, experience, which is uh, happened, which uh, is happening uh, after the full-scale invasion started. And the third one is agency of Ukrainian cultural workers. And uh, when we talk about uh, migration and course um, display uh, displacement, uh, interview participants mentioned the increase uh, in distance and dislocation from the Ukrainian context due to their um, 
migration, like both internal, but also, of course, external. Uh, and this is due to the fact that some Ukrainian cultural institutions and curators may consciously or unconsciously exclude those who have left Ukraine uh, from our art projects. And they can, of course, prioritize the support of those who remained in Ukraine. And at the same time, the loss of ties uh, due to um, departure of Ukrainian cultural workers from Ukraine can occur uh, gradually and and imperceptibly, um, also because of the lack of activities that contribute to the preservation of these ties. Um, some of the interviewers uh, mentioned uh, that they uh, started to feel the feeling of separation between them uh, as people who left and those who remained in Ukraine in terms of uh, cultural field. And uh, they also mentioned that they felt that uh, some uh, barriers started uh, to appear between them and the Ukrainian cultural environment uh, between them because they are currently staying uh, abroad. And they mentioned the feeling of a lack of programs and projects aimed at keeping them in the field. Um, also, um, uh, when we uh, talk about, um, uh, in, uh, like now I will, I will uh, mention institutional interaction and exchange of experiences and uh, the cooperation of uh, Ukrainian institutions with cultural actors uh, from Ukraine who work in uh, cultural institutions abroad can be a kind of a catalyst for interinstitutional partnerships and um, also Ukrainian who, uh, per, uh, Ukrainians who permanently work in Ukrainian institutions and uh, join uh, some internship programs or other engagement program formats such as fellowships uh, in foreign institutions perform the role of uh, ambassadors uh, of these institutions in Ukraine. And during the uh, interviews that we conducted, representatives of Ukrainian institutions uh, also mentioned the value of the experience of Ukrainian cultural workers who uh, worked or are working abroad for a certain time. And uh, the involvement of such uh, employees or as uh, creators, advisors, organizers of events in Ukraine is a kind of an opportunity to invent uh, new formats of programs or uh, projects. And also the thing that Tatiana Kulevska mentioned that um, uh, there, there is a problem that was also mentioned in the um, our um, interviews. It's uh, uh, one of cooperation both in Ukraine in, and abroad. And this means that after the completion of projects, employees of these institutions, they uh, do not support interaction and do not develop the connections that were formed. Uh, and because of this, uh, one of the key needs uh, of the informants that uh, took part in the research was the building and establishing of long-term uh, stable connections, both within the Ukrainian cultural field and with foreign cultural workers. Um, also, uh, another thing that was important, that is important to mention, is about personal connections. And uh, uh, this is a kind of a reason, uh, so it's common scenario uh, of um, like the construction of personal connections between uh, cultural workers uh, abroad and um, the Ukrainian institutions uh, was the in involvement of representatives of cultural institutions in short-term programs abroad, uh, such as internships or residences, and uh, at the same time, the opportunity to go beyond a one-off uh, cultural project and delve into the context and activities of uh, one institution can contribute to the uh, creation of more uh, permanent partnerships. And uh, now I will talk about the third uh, issue, which is agency of Ukrainian cultural workers and uh, the participants of the previous assembly and also um, the people we interviewed, they expressed the request for strengthening of agency, both within uh, the Ukrainian cultural field and within the framework uh, of interaction with cultural workers uh, from abroad. And uh, during the interviews, they mentioned that before the full scale, in scale invasion, uh, th there was this uh, issue that European cultural workers did not recognize the agency and subjectness of Ukraine. And um, it was, as Janifleska also mentioned, like perceived through uh, Russia's um, like uh, 
like imperialist uh, policy regard regarding Ukrainian uh, culture. Uh, and um, um, uh, Ukrainian cultural workers, they um, mentioned that uh, they had to um, kind of um, conduct educational work for cultural workers abroad because of that, like after the full-scale invasion started. And uh, they also mentioned that gradually this uh, perception changed and they feel these changes uh, um, uh, already. And um, uh, also another thing, which is uh, another facet of these uh, colonial practices is uh, the difficulties in cooperation with cultural workers from abroad uh, and the, their attitude towards Ukrainian cultural workers. And uh, people were mentioning the problem of unequal, superior or condescending treatment caused by colonial um, poli policies and practices of uh, European in cultural institutions. And uh, according to the research, uh, uh, the, uh, to the uh, participants of the research, uh, this undermines the possibility of mutual exchange of experience. And they shared uh, their experience of interaction with representatives of institutions abroad um, that uh, did not recognize the expertise of Ukrainian cultural workers and wanted to kind of uh, teach them something. Uh, at the same time, uh, they also mentioned that um, some kind of uh, activities such as uh, internships residences and involvement in the work of European institutions since the beginning of the full-scale invasion helped to increase like their own confidence in uh, their own knowledge and experience and uh, kind of overcome the so-called uh, inferiority complex uh, in terms of their professional activities uh, in the um, European and other international cultural institutions. And uh, regarding cooperation with cultural workers from uh, abroad, the respondents also mentioned the need to include and involve Ukrainian cultural workers in program activities uh, of institutions abroad, in particular in broader discussions uh, about uh, issues uh, of inequality, for example, or the environmental crisis. And this would help change the focus on representations of uh, Ukrainians as uh, war victims and strengths in Ukrainians agency in the uh, international cultural field. So coming to the conclusions, uh, uh, I would uh, mention a few things. And first of all, it uh, became um, urgent um, for Ukrainians uh, uh, already after the one and a half years of the full-scale invasion to engage in long-term activities, programs and projects aimed at increasing their interaction with each other uh, and also with the cultural, uh, international cultural actors. So not only short-term, but uh, rather long-term activities. Uh, also, uh, there is also a need to establish cooperation with those who have left and uh, who, especially after the start of the full-scale invasion, uh, feel disconnected from, from the Ukrainian cultural field and as a result may gradually lose contact with it. Uh, so uh, this uh, can happen thanks to programs and projects initiated by Ukrainian institutions uh, and uh, um, that are aimed at strengthening, uh, strengthening cross-border inter interaction between Ukrainian cultural uh, actors. And uh, uh, another uh, important thing is uh, the importance um, of local connections and communities. Um, so there is a need uh, for opportunities for networking, building solidarity networks, as well as uh, physical offline communications and platforms for this communication between Ukrainians and Ukrainian institutions. And it is also important to maintain the policy of uh, decentralization. And the last uh, thing uh, I would like to mention um, so this is what I was mentioning about the subjectness and agency of Ukrainian cultural uh, actors in the international uh, cultural field. And uh, um, this can happen thanks to the strengthening of Ukrainian cultural policy, the representation of Ukrainian artists, not only at exhibitions focused on the Russian war against Ukraine, uh, the inclusion of cultural workers in the program activities of institutions abroad. And uh, it is also important for the strengthening of solidarity uh, with Ukraine and uh, the development of a sensitivity to the context of the Ukrainian cultural field uh, on the part of uh, cultural workers from abroad. Thank you. Olena, oh, thank you so much. Uh, you did an extraordinary job in this complex process of uh, pulling all these ideas together. So, um, 
We'll have now a short break so you can, uh, everyone can stretch their legs, make some tea, whatever we need to do. And we'll be back in 20 minutes uh, when we will be discussing the document itself with a number of leading uh, uh, artists and cultural leaders from Ukraine. We'll see you in 20 minutes. <laughs>